Okay, here's video two about my DIY Geiger counter. I've added a bit more uh, pulse. I've, I've added a pulse averaging circuit, simple pulse averaging circuit to this with a little LED that'll flash. Here, I'll turn this on. Kitty, stay away. <laughs> Kitty wants to say hello. I'll turn this on and we'll see. I've set up the pulse averaging circuit. Kitty. Okay. So that 0 0.1 volts, I've had this set on the 200 volt scale. And 0 0.1 volt is equal to one count per second. I've also, you can see there's a little LED here that it will flash when a count, when the tube detects a count. And so this works pretty good. I have a 50 micro ampere meter on order, which will take a while to arrive. So I thought I could watch the background radiation with this and it's been averaging between 10 and 20 counts per second. I have this as a very smooth averaging so that it it, it will vary. It averages, this, is, this displays the average over about one minute. And I've sat here many times, at least 10 times, and counted the numbers of flashes from the LED and compared it with the number and it correlates very well. It's usually right on or plus or minus one count. I'm running a 12 volt battery now which makes generating the high voltage a little easier. I experimented with the uh, throttle circuit, Charles Wenzel's throttle circuit, and that, that was interesting but I've taken it out for the moment. Hmm. I think that's about all I had to mention. I tried originally tried using Wenzel's pulse averaging circuit with the TLC 272 op amp. I tried working it up in simulation on Spice, and I had trouble getting that to work well. So then I set myself to figuring out how to do the pulse averaging circuit on my own, and found that I monostable multivibrator was what I wanted. Then I noticed that Wenzel's pulse generating circuit, which trims the pulse to 200 nanoseconds, which I now have set up to do a two microsecond pulse because the count is so slow. That I didn't need to use the multivibrator. I used that pulse generation circuit that uses a, a combination of a PNP and an NPN to trim the pulse. So we have the PNP, the NPN, which runs into another NPN to generate the pulse, and then to one last NPN to like do the inverse of that pulse. I taken the speaker off. The speaker would run from the one that's driving the LED and the meter now, but I've taken that off for the time being. I ran into a problem with this too. Is when I first tried to create my own averaging circuit. I was pulling the current through the transistor's load resistor and then into the averaging circuit which is basically just an RC filter and it was giving a very nonlinear response. I could set it up for full scale but then when I put in half the pulse rate it would drop much less than 50 percent of the, the voltage. So then I figured out what I was doing wrong was pulling the current through the load resistor and so now I pull the current up through the transistor. The on state of the transistor is very low resistance. So the RC timing circuit gets, basically it's just direct, directly from the power supply for that 200 microseconds. And then it, it filters and smooths the pulses. And that works much better. Once I figured out that that was the proper way to do things, everything worked very easily. So I have to redo the whole thing and add in a 
six pole switch to put in five scales in it with a calibration setting. And this is interesting because um, automatic timeout on the meter. Doing it all in analog, you have to have the calibration setting on your switch because as your battery voltage goes down, the calibration is going to change. And I'm not sure how that's going to work with uh, the pulse averaging. So now I'm looking into building one with a microcontroller. There's a very simple um, web page out there on how to build basically this same Geiger counter but with a microcontroller for the pulse generation and counts and stuff. I'll put the link in the box. And so that'll be my next project. And see we're up to 16, 16 counts per, per minute there. It's very convenient how the, the 200 volt scale it averages with no, no extra digits on the scale. Pretty nifty. Alrighty then, thanks for watching.